friends, it's Quendi, the Grateful Queen, here on YouTube, and today I'm taking you into one of my favorite rooms in my house. This is my closet, not my Poshmark closet, but my actual personal closet. Why are we in here? Because I'm going to source my own closet to find things to sell on eBay and Poshmark for profit. I am filming this in March 2020 when we are all sheltering in place and one of the issues in the reseller community is that many of us are running out or running low on inventory and a great way to get inventory right now you guys is to go through your own stuff. I'm going to go through my son's closet, I'm going to go through my entire house, but I'm starting with my own personal closet. So I thought I'd take you in, we could take a look at what I have, what I might be able to sell, um, and I'm then going to run comps so I can give you guys a sense of what I think I can earn um, by cleaning out my own closet. If you're new to my channel, hi and welcome, I'm Quenby. I'm a part-time reseller, normally, but right now during Shelter in Place I feel like more of a full-time reseller. Um, I sell on two platforms, eBay and Poshmark. I've been selling for over eight years and my channel is just kind of all about my journey of reselling. I have a lot of educational videos, a lot of thrift hauls, mystery unboxings, retail arbitrage. I really mix it up in my business. So I'd love if you consider subscribing on your way out and make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like this content. So let me know what you're doing actively right now at home to feed your business. Where are you finding inventory? There are so many great suggestions. I did a really fantastic live show um, with my friend Alducho Denali, and she is a big proponent of sourcing from your house. So check out that video if you get a chance. And let's get into this one. So over here is all my pants. These are all my dresses. I know some of you are gonna look in here and be like, Wow, Quimby has a lot of stuff, and some of you are going to be like, oh, that's nothing, girl. So it is what it is. I'm just sharing my closet. Over here, I've got all my tops. So I thought I would literally just go through, um, show you what I think I might be able to sell, uh, maybe talk a little bit about the brands or the style, so maybe it would be helpful in that way. So come along. Let's go through my closet. this experience is a little bit humbling just to be real with you guys because I realize I have so much stuff and a lot of it I'm not wearing and then some of it it's hard to part with so there's like a whole process that happens but let me show you just a few things that I found going to this first rack here and normally you guys I would pay attention a lot more to things like season but right now I really just need to find some inventory just listing, just the very act of listing, you guys, putting new listings and feeding my eBay store and Poshmark closet can be really helpful. So I just need some stuff to list. So this is super cute, but it's not anything that's a great brand. I used to wear this every once in a while. It's like a festival type um, vest. The brand is Star Jeans, which I don't think is really anything, but I love the style on this. Oh, I have one of my old, I love pins and brooches and stuff, and this is a super cute one. I'll take that off before selling it, but it's just sort of a distressed um, denim vest. Maybe someone will want that. This is a jumpsuit. So it's a short sleeve black jumpsuit. It's super soft and comfortable. And I know people are really just wearing their comfortable clothes right now. The brand is Norma Kamali, not something that I'm necessarily a brand I'm looking for for resale, but Jumpsuits are always really popular. This is a size medium. It has pockets and it's super soft. I really like it, but I just don't often wear it. Okay, so these pants are by the brand Danang. It might be kind of hard to see, but it's really expensive. D-A-N-A-N-G. These are like a silk um, tensile Lyle style cargo pants. Um, and they come down to an elastic ankle, so they're a jogger. And then they have all this... Um, like detailed embroidery work. So these are really nice. This brand tends to sell pretty well. I'll have to look these over for flaws. I think they're like a size large. And these are pants that I used to wear 
Um, again, to be honest with you guys, which you kind of have to do when you're in your personal closet, right? Um, these are those pants that I have when it's like, oh, when I've lost five or 10 pounds. I love these pants, but when I'm just kind of, you know, at my normal weight, they're just a little too snug on me. So bye-bye. This is a really good brand to know, you guys. The brand is Lilith. It's sold at places like Nordstrom. It's really expensive. Um, this is a maxi dress and it is so soft and it's striped and it has um, all these really great pleating details. I really love this dress, but I just never wear it. So this might be a good time and a good season to pass this one along. I'm trying to get it on the hanger so I can show you guys the beautiful details on this piece. Um, here we go. So it ha it's like a maxi dress, but then it has these waist details. And look at this pleating. It's got this really subtle but beautiful pleating. Um, and it's like a midi length. So I think that piece will actually do pretty well. So another reason why this is such a great thing to do, you guys, is I'm finding things I didn't even know I had. Like, I forgot all about these Free People jeans. They have a button fly. They're super high-waisted. And they go out to this enormous flare leg. I didn't even know I had these. So I'm going to put these right on top of the pile. I'm not selling those, but I do have a pile of jeans growing here. So I'll show you those in just a sec. That I found three pairs of jeans. That'd be three, Quimby. Three pairs of jeans that I'm ready to pass along. These ones are Gap, but they're Gap 1969. I've talked about this in other videos before, but um, I'll sometimes pick up Gap if it's for style, but in denim, if I see Gap 1969, that tends to do better. These are the modern trouser. I love when they put the name right there. They're a size 30. They're kind of a mid to high rise, and they go up to this enormous, enormous flare. So somebody might really like those. They just don't fit me quite that well. And I found a pair of Free People jeans. These are a size 30. Um, and these are kind of a mid-rise. I wish they were high, but they're black and they're super skinny and stretchy. So those will probably do okay. And another pair of Free People jeans. I had forgotten all about these. These ones are a 31. And I love these almost have like a snake print or something. Again, they're more like a mid-rise, I think. I'll have to measure. But they are a nice skinny leg, so I'll put those over on Poshmark. Now we have to deal with the dresses and tops, which are like my largest category in my personal closet. So let's go through there and see what I can find. Okay, friends, I'm doing pretty well with the top section. I already have a big pile of things to show you, but since I'm in here anyway, I thought I'd show you a couple of my favorite items or brands. This is a brand that's really good. I just want to make sure you know about it. The brand is Beyond Yoga, and they make like comfort yoga type wear. Like this is a really thin, oversized linen sweater. I'm not going to sell this. I just wanted to show you the brand. Let me show you this one other item too. You guys, I am so in love with this kimono. I bought it for my trip to Mexico. I actually got it at Plato's Closet. I don't know if you had a chance to see, but I have a video. Why does it look blurry? There we go. I have a video up in my channel that's about selling to Plato's Closet. I did that for my first time, and I take you into the store, and I tell you what they took of my items and what they didn't and how much I made and all that. That's a good video. But I got this there. Look at the print on this. And then it's got a tassel at the end. I just, kimonos are really hot right now. I got this to wear as a swim cover up, but a lot of people wear them just out over their outfits and it looks so cute. And this is just Forever 21. I got it for eight bucks at Plato's Closet, but I really like that. Okay, I made it through the top section, so let me show you what I found to resell. This is a little cropped, um, like, military jacket. Here's another one of my pins. It's like a faux cameo. I'll take that off. This is just max size large. I don't know if it's like a junior's brand. The brand is not fantastic on this, but I might be able to put this on Posh and sell it as a little cropped, like, military style jacket. This is another Gap piece, which is so funny. I showed you those Gap 1969 jeans. I didn't even know I had much Gap in my wardrobe. This is a tunic, it's a gap size medium, really pretty like a floral tunic, and it has some little um, stitching details along the neckline. Really cute, just not quite my style anymore. I used to wear it for work sometimes. 
this is a brand to know. It's um, sold at Nordstrom's and they make the best stuff. I have a few things in my closet from them and I've sold a few things from them. The brand is Love Stitch. And this is an ivory, very chunky knit cardigan. It's really cool. It's a size small, but it's kind of oversized. It has pockets and buttons, and it's really kind of that, like, chunky knit. I love ivory and cream, and people, I think, look for it, too, especially in the spring and summer. That one just doesn't quite fit me right. It's like, I love it so much. You guys have pieces like this? Let me know in the comments. Like... I love it. I, I don't want to part with it, but I'm not wearing it. So this is the time, you guys, to be disciplined with yourself, as I'm trying to do with myself, and go through that stuff. And you can get some more stuff when all this is done. Right now, you might just need inventory. This is a free people dress. It's a size small. It's a tunic. It's got a nice um, floral print on it, a tassel tie. For some reason, this one is just not quite the right fit on me. I really love the color and the print. I'll look on the tag. I'll try and find a stock for photo. Do you guys know how to do that with free people items? Just in case you don't, I'm going to show you right now that on the tag somewhere hidden away, like on the very bottom of the inside tag, there's um, a number that starts with OB and then some numbers. If you just put into Google free people, then this number OB6792 um, some stock photos will come up and um, the name of the piece, so that's helpful. I'll probably put this on Poshmark. It's got these really sweet little buttons, lots of great free people details. But for me, uh, um, it's too short to be a dress, but it's like a little long for a top. So again, just not quite right. I have worn it a few times, so I like it. This is a Madewell sweater. Madewell is a pretty good brand to sell, especially if you can find the denim. This is just a very thin thin uh, merino wool scoop neck sweater. It's a really pretty color and it's got a round high low hem. Again, I just don't wear that one very much. I don't know how I'm going to get out of my closet because I'm filming towards the door and now there's a huge pile of stuff. Okay, this... This is a brand that doesn't have like a high resale value or anything, you guys. The brand is Lauren Conrad. But have you guys noticed they make the best prints? They have really great prints, really great styles. This is just a tiered ruffle tank top. I might throw it on Posh um, as an inexpensive item, maybe for like 10 bucks, and then maybe someone will bundle it or something. Yeah, hello. You right there. You gotta punch that subscribe button like this. Boom. Like, no, don't punch it like that. Punch it like this. Boom. Yeah, you got that. And don't forget to like and turn on the notification. Okay, this next piece is a Banana Republic item. And this is linen. And it's like a duster, but it's a vest with pockets. It's a really great layering piece. I wore it a few times. It's a neutral color, almost like, like taupe. A very light brown, but it's great for work to layer over. Um, but again, I just don't wear that piece much. This is a Free People sweater, size medium. It's a black um, crochet knit with a nice bell sleeve. Probably more of a crop, a crop neck, neck. Probably more of a cropped length, you guys. And it's got snaps down the front. A peplum hem, so really flattering. I don't know why I'm not wearing a lot of these pieces, you guys. I'm looking at them and I'm like, these are really cute. Why aren't I wearing them? I don't know, but I hope somebody else likes them. This is a jacket I bought for myself for work just based on style. It's like, it's all white lace and it has a peplum hem and a little one button closure and another one of my little buttons on it. But it's not, it's like a no name brand, Mademoiselle or something like that. I don't know if I'll be able to sell this. If I did, it would be on style, not brand, but I might put it up there. This is a gorgeous piece. This is one of my, um, real designer pieces. This is Diane von Furstenberg. Um, I've had this for a few years. I've got my use out of it. It's so gorgeous. Look at this color. I mean, it's such a rare color. It's a size 12 and it's got these very long tassels and it does have the hologram on it. Um, so if you are looking to authenticate something, it's really easy if it comes with that hologram. It, sometimes people have cut it off because it's kind of an annoying tag inside, but if it's there, that's helpful. This is a gorgeous piece. Um, I've just, I just think I've, I've had it in there and I haven't put it on in like two years. So that's a good indicator that it's time to go. My pile is like totally slipping and falling. 
Oh, okay, so that was the tops kind of section. Now let's get into the dresses and maybe I'll have time to do a little bit of accessories. How am I doing so far? Guys, I did really well in the dress section. It looks like I have at least four or five pieces to sell here. This is one of these heartbreaking ones. I love this dress so much, you guys. It's so gorgeous. It's a party formal cocktail dress. It's by Free People. It originally was $300. I didn't pay that, but I bought it for a Christmas party like two years ago and I've never worn it. It's got a completely open back. Look at the crochet and lace details on this. It's so gorgeous, but this was probably, I think it's a size 10, but this was probably in one of my, yeah, size 10. Look at the, even the free people tag. Oh, it's so good. But um, I think this was one of my thinner, I'm probably, I'm anywhere from like an eight to 12, depending on the brand style and what's going on with me. Um, but I think it has this like, um, it's all open here at the waistline and I think right now like my little tummy would stick right out of there Like I can't look how much stuff I'm finding though you guys. This is really good. Are you doing this? Let me know in the comments What your experience is and I know I've heard people say like well, I don't have anything but um, Take a look anyway. You might be surprised. This is a really good brand to know XCVEI No XCVI it's sometimes sold at anthropology um, I've sold and bought these skirts a million times over. I was really into these for a while. It's got a ton of ruching. It can kind of be like steampunk or Victorian or lagging look. It fits into a lot of styles. This one's a size medium and these usually sell pretty well. Maybe like 30 or 40 bucks. This has no name brand tag on it, but it's 100% linen. So I'm just going to put it up as lag and look dress. It's gray, 100% linen, and it just has a really nice shape. This is all pleated. And then, um, I don't even know what you call this hemline. It's not like a bubble, but it's all elastic. It's just a really cute dress that I never wear. This dress, this is a Lou and gray dress. I personally love Lou and gray. I'm not sure if you can see that tag. It just says Lou and gray. I think it's a part of Ann Taylor Loft or something like that. It's like their more comfortable line. This is a tank dress and it's really flattering actually because this kind of, um, you can like pull it up and then it, and then it hangs over the skirt a little bit. I don't know how to describe that, but it's like really cute, but I never wear it. This is such a vintage piece and I'm not a vintage seller, but I know this is the sort of thing itch that people like doesn't this look exactly like a free people dress it's a baby doll style with like a really full skirt um but it's a totally vintage starina size small yeah that's funny i wore this a couple times with like a brown leather belt around the waist and a cardigan sweater and it was really cute it does have some flaws because it's vintage like the neckline starting to come apart here but um this is the sort of thing that i wore in the 90s and the girls are wearing now so, oh my god, I have so much stuff piling up here, you guys. This is a wrap dress. I, I think I wore it to work once or twice. It's just old navy, but I think it'll sell on style. I can probably get like 15 or 20 because it's a true wrap. It really does wrap around, which is a really flattering style. And it's this denim chambray so, or chambray. I don't know how you say that, but I'll put that in my title and it might sell for a little bit for style. Now... Uh, I'm going to take a quick look I, for through accessories like belts and shoes. I don't know if I have much in here. I'm pretty good at cleaning out my closet regularly. This is just my closet, though. I still have an armoire and some other things, too, but that may be another video. <laughs> Okay, guys, so this is really embarrassing, but if I can, I'll insert some footage of my bin of scarves. I didn't even realize I have so many scarves. I don't even wear scarves that often. Sometimes I them winter over a sweater, but these are all like spring, summer scarves. So what I did is I just saved maybe like a handful of my favorites and then I'm going to like make some lots. Like these are really beautiful, nice colors. I'll maybe lot like three of them together and do like a bundle on Poshmark of, of summer scarves. 
I'll give it a whirl. I also found, yeah, that's nice when I dip down like that. <laughs> I also found a few belts. I love belts, but um, this one I really love. It's Genuine Leather. What's the brand on this one? But look at the belt buckle. Isn't that cool? Um, Genuine Bonded Leather. I don't see a brand on it right now. But this one, the reason I'm hesitant on this one is it's missing one stone. So it's like, I don't know if I can sell it as is like that. I'll see if I think it's worth it. And then this is a bundle of two matching scarves. So that sometimes does well. They're genuine leather. leather. They're skinny and they're studded. They've got a little bit of wear, but I might be able to lot those up and sell them together. Let me see if there's anything else I should look for. I'm kind of thinking... I need to do another video because this one's getting long and I have a lot of stuff I could potentially go through. This is a shout out to my friend Denali at El Ducho who recently bought a B&G order of bras. She made a Shopify store so you can check that out. But she and I are talking on one of our, maybe my live or Instagram live or something about going through your like bras. Those are things people are buying now. It's like sell those. So I just found all of these bras. Some of these are like still new with tags. I don't know if I need to show them all to you, but it's like, um, I don't wear all these. Like most of the time I wear kind of like a cotton sports bra and then I'm going to save a few nice ones for an occasion or for fun or whatever. But, um, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that I can go through and I know I can find a few of these to sell. Okay. So I think that's a really good start. I still haven't gone through shoes. I still haven't gone through my casual clothes, like my bins of tank tops and t-shirts. So Maybe I'll make another video about that, but I have like a huge pile here. I'll definitely show you guys what I'm going to do. There's a lot of stuff here. There, I probably pulled like 40 items. So I'm going to do a little bit of comp work so I can get an estimate of what I think I can make by selling this stuff on eBay and Poshmark. So we get kind of an idea of how much I think I can make out of cleaning out my closet. Um, first thing I have to put in my cost of goods and take that off my sales in this case, yes, at some point I spend money on these items, but these items have already been like worn and used and I've gotten the value out of them. So I'm just saying cost of goods at this point in time is really zero. Okay, so I just sat down and did some rough comps checking to see what comparable items I've sold for on places like eBay and Poshmark. And I feel confident I can make about $500 in sales off of the items I pulled from my closet. So that's pretty good. Okay, you guys, here is, you know, I'm filming the video and I'm just throwing stuff down, but here's like bras, scarves, belts, a bunch of the dresses and sweaters. Like this is a good amount of inventory. This is like more than I might get if I went out thrifting in one day. So I have a lot of stuff to sort through. I'm excited to have a little bit more inventory. Thanks. And then let me know what you think of the video. Try and join me on Fridays. I do a show called Live at Five, which is really fun because we can all chat in the comments. I'd love to see you in the next video, and I'd love to hear from you to know how are you doing sourcing from your own home at this time. Take good care, guys. I appreciate you watching. Bye. Make sure to like and subscribe.